afternoon. My, myself, Dr. Vaidhav Bhuyar. I am a consultant urologist at Chandrapur. Today we are going to talk about peripheral neuropathy, general overview, symptoms, causes. Peripheral neuropathy is a disorder or it's a, it's results from damage to the peripheral nerves. There are three types of peripheral nerves. Sensory nerves, motor nerves and autonomic nerves. Whenever there is a damage to sensory nerves, patient will have sensory complaints in the form of tingling, numbness, anesthesia. Whenever there is a motor nerve damage, patient will experience weakness or motor problems. While when a damage to the autonomic nerve will lead to increase in BP or heart rate or bladder and bowel problems. In general, overview regarding peripheral neuropathy, uh, the patient will experience symptoms which I mentioned earlier and the patient might get another symptoms like uh, sharp jabbing, throbbing or burning pain or uh, lack of coordination and falling which is the symptom of sensory neuropathy or ganglionopathy. Patient can have feeling as if he is wearing gloves or stockings which is a typical feature of distal peripheral neuropathy. And patient can also experience pain during activities like uh, walking, or patient will have complete numbness of soles and hands. Autonomic nerve system involvement, autonomic nerves specifically will cause uh, increase in heat production or heat intolerance, excessive sweating, bowel and bladder digestive symptoms in the form of diarrhea or constipation. As you all know, diabetic neuropathy is mostly autonomic neuropathy and patient will have frequent urination as well as patient will experience indigestion and dietary. So changes in blood pressure or changes in heart rate can also be the result of autonomic nervous system involvement in peripheral neuropathy. So when to see a doctor in case of peripheral neuropathy? Patient should uh, right away go to the doctor once she experiences tingling or pain or any weakness. Early diagnosis and treatment of peripheral neuropathy will be very useful because once Complete neuropathy status, it is very hard to treat that neuropathy. So, our first and foremost motto is to identify neuropathy, every neuropathy within a span of days to weeks. Because it is, it is very treatable and we can prevent the further damage by diagnosing it early and preventing and treating it early. The causes, there are lots of causes which can lead to neuropathy. First and foremost are autonomic, autonomic disorders like Jogren syndrome, uh, Epstein, uh, Gulen-Barre syndrome, rheumatoid arthritis, or sarcoidosis, or inflammatory demand in neuropathy, which are autonomic disorders, or vascular disease, which is the most uh, common cause in young, young people. So, autonomic diseases are the first and foremost the causes which will lead to neuropathy. Another second is metabolic, like diabetes. Third are the infections, like HSV, EBV herpes virus, Lyme's disease, hepatitis B, C, HIV, all these infections will lead to neuropathy. Inherited disorders like charcoal marital diseases and uh, other neuropathies which are heritable. Third are the tumor associated or paraneoplastic neuropathies which are mostly because of Hodgkin and Hodgkin lymphomas, etc. Bone marrow disorders like multiple myeloma, uh, monoclonal gammopathies, polyclonal gammopathies, lymphomas and other amyloidosis which can lead to neuropathy. Other diseases like kidney diseases, chronic liver diseases can lead to neuropathies. Acquired causes of neuropathy is alcoholism in our states, our like urban country. Alcoholism is the uh, most culprit among the neuropathies. Alcoholic will get both sensory as well as motor neuropathies. Sometimes autonomic also they will get. Exposure to toxins like mercury, heavy metals can lead to neuropathy. Medications like uh, cancer chemotherapy. Medications which lead to peripheral neuropathy, some dapsone, other amiodarin, other cardiac drugs can also cause neuropathy. Vitamin deficiencies, B1 deficiency, B2 deficiency, B6 deficiency, or B6 excess rather can lead to neuropathy. B6 inspired toxins, toxicity can lead to neuropathy. Vitamin E deficiency, vitamin B12, which is the most common neuropathy in a vegetarian animal. So, risk factor for developing neuropathy are diabetes, alcohol abuse, vitamin C deficiencies. Infections, autonomic which I already mentioned. Complications. Complications of neuropathy, patient can have non healing ulcer because they can't sense the sense the heat or cold. 
like in leprosy they will be uh, they will not be experiencing any touch heat or cold sensation so they will unknowingly they will burn themselves it can lead to bone and skin trauma infections they will get because of neuropathy and falls falls is the most common symptom of sensory neuropathy rather gangly neuropathy which can be because of pyridoxine toxicity or chemotherapy drugs or vitamin deficiency in which patient will have frequent falls whenever he closes his eye patient will get falls this is the uh, uh, deadly combinations of uh, neuropathy which one could get so how to manage neuropathy neuropathy is very simple to manage the protocol is you should diagnose the neuropathy very early you should identify it you should treat the neuropathy at the earliest level so that the complications will not happen another diet rich in vegetables fruits rich in vitamins b6 non vegetarian diet such as white meat red meat milk egg which can provide between ample amount of b12 you should eat healthy habits you should acquire healthy habits to get to not have deficiency of vitamins third thing is exercise regularly and doctor visit and take your medicines regularly third thing is diabetes is a pandemic of diabetes in india whenever any diabetic person come the complaint of diabetic patient will be tingling and numbness of hands and soles so you should keep your diabetes level sugar level at check it will prevent further progression of the neuropathy and other which are the secondary causes of neuropathy like cancer autoimmune disease you should treat all these ailments very early to get it from neuropathy thank you very much